are going to learn about a bond scan using Gauss view and Gaussian. So um, we want to do a bond scan. Uh, for example, let's create a molecule. Let's put something else like a chloride. All right, so this is a chloride, uh, sorry, methyl chloride. And uh, consider we want to do a bond scan between this carbon and this chlorine and want to see how the energy changes with the bond distance. So that can be done easily in uh, using Gauss view and Gaussian. So what we'll do is, um, uh, first, let's make its bond distance shorter. Like this is the optimum uh, which Gauss view has put in it. So we'll start scanning from, let's say, 1.3. And then we'll keep going from here. So what I'll do is um, click the redundant coordinates editor and then click add. Here we're going to add a bond. And if you click carbon, sorry, click here and carbon chlorine. Why is it not clicking? Sorry, I believe we have to select this bond and then click one, two, and it will select uh, these two atoms. So now what we need to do with this bond. So we need to scan this coordinate and it will ask you to, to tell it how many steps do you want it to take and what should be the size of the step. So let's take 10 steps of 0.1 angstrom each so you can adjust this according to your need like if you want a finer scan you can go for 0 0.05 and you can take many more steps then and then um, it will give you a better uh, graph and clear picture so i click ok and go to calculation now here this is already done scan relaxed mode redundant so you don't need to change this. We go to method and here um, I'll select a crude method at the moment just to make it quick for the video but you can select uh, the method you want and then we can use full processor actually and then after that I'll not add anything else at the moment I'll just edit and then save this file. So here I'll say bond scan CHCL3. Save it and then close and run. Yes. So now we'll wait for the calculation to finish. So this is how you can do other scans as well. Um, not just a bond scan, you can do an angle scan, a dihedral scan, and any other type of scans through this uh, redundant coordinate editor. So this job is finished. I'll click yes, and then load the log file. So now you can see, if I click results and scan, you can see the graph. So when chloride was here um, the the energy is high and if you move it 0.1 angstrom further energy is going down 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 and this is probably the point where energy is uh, the the lowest one and if you start increasing the distance of chloride the energy is again going up so that's how you can actually scan a bond um, for its energy in using Gaussian and whatever the molecule is it doesn't matter uh, you can do it for any kind of bond and uh, I believe that uh, this concept is clear now I'll try to make more videos for dihedral scans and other types of scans 
but uh, if you have any questions or issues you can post in the comment section thanks for watching bye